Hey, what's going on Shrimp Keepers? It is Saturday, which means it is a Shrimp Saturday. And uh, today I want to talk about pure line shrimp, uh, which is like your pure red line, your pure black line. Before I do, I gotta say Go Tribe. Uh, the World Series is going on right now. I'm missing it for you guys. But uh, I'm hopefully I'm gonna get back before the end of it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cleveland needs this. I'm from Ohio and we, we have the Browns and uh, you guys have to have sympathy for us uh, because the Browns are, oh, I love them, but they're terrible. And so uh, Cleveland getting a couple, uh, couple big trophies this year would be nice for us. But anyway, that's beside the point. So uh, pure red line shrimp, that's what I want to talk about, and pure black line, they all go hand in hand. But uh, the tanks that I have are pure red line, so that's what I'm gonna focus in on today. But all the principles stay the same. And so uh, basically, um, I know when I first got into shrimp keeping, and I remember when the, the pure line shrimp came out, and uh, there was a lot of confusion. People really didn't know what's the difference between a, a pure line shrimp and, a, and just a crystal. And uh, you know, it, a lot of questions came into play because um, basically a pure red line shrimp, uh, PRL, looks exactly the same as a crystal red, uh, exactly the same. So what's the difference? Why are you paying more money for the same shrimp? And so that's what I wanna get into today. Um, I'll touch a little bit on breeding, you know, my tank set up, what I do, and, uh, and I'll kind of lead you guys in the right direction. And I will do a special for this one. Uh, check the link below and I will do a special. I don't have too many, so I'm probably only gonna limit it to maybe like 50 shrimp tops. And uh, so we'll just see how that goes. And uh, again, no pressure to buy ever. Uh, you guys are awesome. You guys support me more than I could ever imagine. And I love you guys, so never feel pressure to buy. But if you're interested, definitely you're gonna see the quality that I have. And uh, if you like it, great. But anyway, let's get into this. What is a PRL? All right, so sorry for the bad camera work. I'm gonna get get low real quick. Get low, get low. Sorry, I was just at a I was at a wedding a couple weeks ago. Anyway, uh, right now you're looking at my PRL tank, my pure red line tank, and uh, as you can see, uh, they look identical to crystal reds. Um, some of them are pretty high grade. Uh, some of them not so high grade and so what is the big difference what what makes a pure red line shrimp and it completely comes down to lineage and what I mean by lineage is a uh, pure line shrimp is a crystal red that has never had mixed genetics it has truly been bred from its wild form to what it is now it's never been mixed with a golden it's never been um, you know crossed back with anything it's just simply a pure shrimp from the wild genetics to now. And so, uh, with a lot of crystal reds, you'll get uh, different goldens out of them. You'll get snow whites, which goldens and snow whites are the same exact thing, uh, it's just two different names. And so, you'll get those shrimp out of them. You'll sometimes get a crystal black. Uh, if they're a Michelin, you'll get a Taiwan B every once in a while. So the genetics are uh, better in the sense that the shrimp has a broader range of genetics, so most likely it's gonna be a healthier shrimp. Uh, whereas crystal reds simply came from the wild form and never had mixed genetics. They are the true genetics. And they've been bred over many generations to get the colors that they have. And so it's more of a natural way of doing it uh, over a longer period of time. There's no cheating, no shortcuts. And with that, you get a higher price range. So that's where uh, the pricing comes into these. And, and truthfully, they've come down a lot in price. And I don't know if that's because um, more people are breeding them um, or if people have simply... Um, just change the name of their crystal reds to pure red line uh, just because you know to get an extra couple bucks you never know uh, but anyway so these guys I've had for uh, I would say close to two years if not longer than two years and I got them from a guy uh, called Scott Bauer uh, he's on um, he's on all the Facebook groups I don't I don't know if he's too hard into it now but he's just a hobbyist that sells a little bit and uh, I traded some stuff for them, and I've had these, and these guys have been breeding for, like I said, two years. I, I think I've got three generations out of them, and uh, the quality of them has been really good. As you can see, uh, as far as pattern goes, because I told you guys I'd get into a little bit on uh, grading these guys, um, pattern grading, which again, with crystals or any type of crystal, even the pure red line, pure black line, um, there's two ways to grade, and it comes down to pattern, and then it comes down to color. And so right now you're looking at uh, like the one right in the center right here. Uh, it has an awesome pattern. I love it. It's uh, I don't think it's a no entry pattern, but it's close. 
And so, uh, so yeah, so there's some really, really nice ones. Here's a new entry pattern. That's my favorite. It's got that little circle on the butt with the no entry sign. Um, but anyway, yeah, so as far as pattern goes, these are really, really nice shrimp. Now, as far as color goes, um, some of them are really, really nice, and some of them are not so nice. So, like, another thing with crystals is they lose color the older they get. And so you'll look at some of the older shrimp, uh, some of the adults, and, you know, their color's starting to fade a little bit. And uh, the babies look spectacular. And so if you've got a low-quality baby that's losing color as a, you know, as a juvenile, you know it's not a nice shrimp because as it gets older, it's just going to continue to lose color. And so you want to, if you're going to select a breed or, or do calling, um, you definitely, if you see any kind of transparency in younger babies, you definitely want to get rid of them. And so, uh, so that's my one tip with that. But uh, yeah, so I've had these guys for a while. They've been breeding really, really good. Um, again, I would say they're, they're fair grade, um, you know, middle of the road. And uh, yeah, they do good. And so the tank setup that I have, um, the biggest thing to know, the most important thing to know is that this tank has a pH of about 6.8. Uh, most people that keep pure red line or any kind of crystal or anything try to get for that real low pH around six. Um, if you try transitioning these guys to a pH um, like around six, uh, they're probably not gonna do well unless you really take time to acclimate them. Um, right around a pH of seven is gonna do well for these, a little bit on the lower side, you know, six, eight, six, nine. That's where these guys are gonna thrive. Um, as you can see, I tell you guys all the time, uh, Indian almond leaf, piece of driftwood. This is too big for this tank, by the way. I've gotten lucky that this tank hasn't crashed. I need to get it uh, switched over. Um, sponge filters as always, uh, some type of moss. This moss isn't doing good. I got the Rickia flutens up here, um, which is doing great. And they're always, like you can just see them. I mean, they crawl all through it. I don't see any right now, but uh, I assure you they do definitely crawl through it. And so this is just a basic tank setup. Um, I've had great success with Fluval Shrimp Shadow as far as crystals go and as far as pure red line go. Um, so if you're gonna, if you plan on buying these from me, um, my shrimp do best in, in the parameters that I'm telling you. Now, granted, if you buy them from someone else, they might do better in their parameters. And so you wanna try to match whoever you're buying the shrimp from to match those parameters. And that's where you're gonna see the greatest success. And so that's my biggest advice as far as breeding goes. But um, I would say these guys, they breed probably uh, two times a year, once to twice a year, just depending. And, um, and they usually are pretty fertile and uh, have quite a few babies. As you can see, I think I started with um, 10, maybe, maybe 20. And, uh, and I, I've sold quite a few and I, I did start a new tank with these guys. So as you can see, there's probably at least um, 100, 150 in here. And so, uh, so I'm getting ready to, to break this tank down, but I did want to do a video on it so you guys could see where it, where it started and I, I could have the, the history on the YouTube channel so I can go back and look at it. But anyway, so that's what makes a, uh, a pure red line. Um, pricing again, coming back to that, uh, these shrimp range anywhere between, I've seen them as low as $5, um, but they do go up to like, you know, ridiculous price, like a thousand or two thousand dollars. I know Ellen, uh, her pure red line are, are spectacular and um, that's a that's a breeder over in I think Asia or Taiwan, something like that. Anyway, uh, hers are spectacular and they go for a lot of money. And uh, the grading on them, again, um, it comes down to color and pattern, so the higher pattern. And if their legs are a nice solid white or solid red, that increases the value. Um, you know, a little bit of everything, it, it just all adds up. And so, um, so pure red line, I mean, nothing nothing too crazy about them. It's just, um, you know, more natural shrimp. And so, uh, so you could do crystal reds and have, you know, just as good looking shrimp. Um, it's just basically what, whatever you're going for. So uh, there's no bad thing to them. And you can mix them. So like um, some people will like, you know, take their calls from a pure PRL tank and put them in with a crystal red tank. And there's no bad side effects that come with that. So that's a, that's a good thing to know. Um, but I mean, they're, they're fairly easy to keep. I mean, I've had great success with these guys and great success with the crystals um, with, you know, two sponge filters, Fluval Shrimp Stratum, which is dirt cheap. Um, well, it depends on what you consider cheap. Cheap compared to other active substrates. And uh, so, 
I mean, that's my that's my two cents on that. I'm gonna get back to the Indians game. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Don't get too crazy watching the World Series. And if you do, make sure you have someone to take care of you. And uh, anyway, I love you guys. I can't wait to see you guys at the Aquatic Experience, anyone that can make it. Um, if you can't make it, I'm going to get tons of video for you guys. So it's going to be just like you're there. And so it's going to be cool. Uh, me and my wife are going. We're going to be with Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tank. So I'm excited. Um, Corey, I know Corey from Aquarium Co-op. I doubt he's watching this video, but if he is, um, I saw his comment. He's going to be there, so I'm really excited to meet him. Um, you guys, I don't normally recommend YouTube channels, but uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op seems like a really genuine guy, and uh, he's been doing some great things uh, for the YouTube community as far as um, uh, fish keeping and shrimp, keep shrimp keeping goes, you know, everything. And so that's a really cool channel, um, so definitely check him out. But you guys have an awesome weekend. And uh, I love you guys, and I will talk with you guys soon. So happy Shrimp Saturday, and watch the World Series. Go Trav.